Hello everybody. Our friend has a landscape lighting system that's not working. And this is the power supply or power pack for it. Let me preface this by saying that if you're not familiar with electricity or don't have the skill or the expertise to be doing this, then you shouldn't be messing with this because there's 120 volts here and you can electrocute yourself if you don't know what you're doing. So this video is just to show you what I'm going to do to solve their problem. It's completely dead. The display doesn't work, reset, nothing responds, and the lights are not working. So they asked me to take a look at it. They actually operate their lights by just turning them on and off. So they have an outlet that's a switched outlet. And so they have their power supply plugged in. And then they turn the lights on and off by just flipping the light switch. This power pack has a lot of features on it. It has dusk dawn control with a photo cell. It's got manual operation as well as timed operation. You can set a specific amount of hours you want it to run at dusk. As it turns out, my friends are not using any of these features. They're keeping it in the manual mode and just turning the power on and off to this plug. So what I'm going to do is to try to take out the low voltage intelligent stuff and leave the dumb stuff in. So basically I'm going to leave the transformer. I'm going to take out the control circuits because it looks like the power supply for the control is shot. I don't know whether it's this little transformer or whether it's uh, one of the other electronic components, but since we don't need it, I'm going to remove the, the brains or the smarts of this power pack and only keep the dumb portion. So what that means is I've disconnected the switches and everything from the control board using this ribbon cable. So I've disconnected that. We'll discard that. Next thing to do is to figure out what's important and what's not important inside this. And the way I look at this is this is a transformer here, a toroidal transformer. It has input and it has output. It looks like the two red wires two heavy red wires are the output as they run straight to this terminal block here and on the other side of this terminal block you can see that's where you connect your lighting so the two heavy red wires are the output and the input looks like it's the black and the white wire so everything else can be discarded. I'm going to bring the power straight from the power cord. I've already cut it off. I'm going to bring the power cord straight into the black and white of the toroidal transformer. I'm going to keep the two red wires. This little gizmo you see here is a current sensor. It's just clamped on over the red lead. It doesn't do anything. It's not going to damage anything. It provides an input to this control board. The other thing you could do is you could just leave everything. I know that based on reading the, the board, this says L in, L out. So that's line in, line out, and it's controlled by this relay right here. So you could bypass all the electronics by just simply unsoldering the, the black wire and unsoldering this red wire and then connecting them together. So now you've totally bypassed the control relay. So regardless of what it's being told to do, since the smarts and the brains are not working, the photo sensor and the timers and everything else, you'll be able to get this working. I've completed my surgery. I'll show you that in just a moment. But let me plug this in and let's see what the voltage is on the output. Here we go. 12.6, gotta love it. That's gonna be perfect. So it's unplugged. Let me just show you what the finished surgery looks like. There it is. Power comes in. Black power lead goes to the black transformer. White goes to white. The two reds or where they originally were for the most part going to 
to the terminal block which connects to the external lights. Here's the control board that I removed and I've also removed the photo cell. I'm going to leave the keypad in place since that keeps water out of the enclosure but I will have to close up this opening here which is where the photo cell was. I want to uh, put some silicone in there or something to keep the water from entering the enclosure from that spot. If you decide to seal this hole up with RTV just make sure you leave that drain hole right there open. So that's how you do it. That's how you keep from having to buy a new transformer. If you want to have on off control these Torx photo controls are pretty inexpensive. You could connect one of these to this box and mount it. And then you would have dusk dawn control automatically. But since my friends are only using it with an on off switch, this will keep them in business. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or entertaining or useful, how about a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel.